Hey everybody, welcome to Solo Show. Today we are picking up where we uh, left off last time. Uh, we finished off our beeline patch and today we have a patch on our thigh. It's an old t-shirt which uh, isn't handling the uh, high traffic area that is the upper thigh very well. So what I'm going to do so that this continues to peel open and peel open and peel open is I'm going to put in a piece of uh, corduroy. I like, I like corduroy and it wears well. So I'm going to put the newer piece closer to the bottom, get it connected up really well with the bottom piece or with the next patch piece, this camouflage down here and uh, tie it all together and just put in a big square and make it stronger. All right. Let's get into it. Have to turn the whole mess inside out this time. And then we can get to the, uh, the good world news. And today it's going to be a multi point style uh, discussion. I found. Um, a list of things that uh, that were good in the world this year and I figured I would share points off of that list that I haven't gone through already uh, in other episodes just to call it the ADD version why not So I'm going to pin along the bottom, make sure I get that, try to tie into this red patch beside it. And I know colors clashing, whatever, I'm not, uh, not too terribly concerned about that, obviously. So I'm going to grab some pins. through a few layers here. It tends to happen when you have patches on patches. So our first good point is that in 2020 stats for 2020 renewable power out generated fossil fuels in Europe so in Europe in 2020 renewable energy produced more power than energy produced by fossil fuels like coal, gas, that sort of thing. So that's pretty massive and that's a year ago so that's, that uh, stat has probably improved even more. And uh, when you couple that with the, uh, the next point of 75% of all coal plants that were planned for the future have been abandoned. The plans have been stopped uh, after the Paris Agreement was signed. So that's pretty pretty massive for the future of uh, not using coal.
trouble with this. Having a trouble, having some trouble with this pin here. Getting it to be where I want it to be. <clears throat> and pinning, pinning is crucial. Layout, layout and pinning, and I know laying it out on me isn't the best way to do this. Um, I should be doing it on the floor somewhere so it lays out flat. I want to be able to do this while I'm conversing with you. And I have done my pinning off camera before. I might go back to that next time. It does take some time. But it is part of the process. Cheers. <clears throat> Don't want there to be too much of a, a strain between any two points. Um, just want everything to kind of lay naturally and then pin it in place and sew it so that it stays stays roughly as it lays. So there's a there's a note for you for on the thighs upper thighs. You want to use something a little more durable than, than t-shirt material. Otherwise, it will wear out after a while. That was in there a few years. I shouldn't say anything. It's getting a little bit breezy, and it is the uh, cold season right now. So the uh, the corduroy looks a little more appealing. Now we're going to start off with something that sounds like it might not be good news, but it really is. In uh, Guinea, there was an Ebola outbreak. Woohoo, right? No, not 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 woohoo. But uh, the woohoo is uh, well. We'll get to the woohoo. Uh, Twelve, 12 people died, um, and it was over in a few months. And, and that is a good thing, not that people died, but when you compare it to the Ebola outbreak that was in 2015 and 2016 and claimed 11,000 lives, that's, uh, that's a significant improvement. So, hooray, there was an Ebola outbreak that only claimed 12 lives and only lasted a few months rather than a few years. So, massively good news. I'm going to go with the black thread for this.
Oops. Butterfingers, I am apparently today. Let's see if I can find that. There it is. The other good thing about using a large needle when it is lost in a haystack, it is that much easier to find. Oh, and that was my wife, Sarah, by the way. Uh, bringing me my, uh, sorry, my thread caught on my f finger. <clears throat> um, bringing me my coffee. I've already had my cookie today. My schedule's a little bit off. So, uh, still having coffee. It's decaf, so it doesn't matter really what time of day I have it. I know it still has a little bit of caffeine, but or might still have a little caffeine. I don't know what process is used for this decaf. So I don't know if there is still caffeine in it or not. And I don't drink much of it, so either way I should be okay. And I'm going to start along the bottom, get that done, get the first thread in, get the first stitch in, I should say. Uh -huh. First stitch is in. So, oh, have some coffee. Cheers. have some tea one day just to fit in with the uh, the tea drinkers in the crowd if you're a tea drinker let me know what your favorite is maybe we can have some tea together oh, yeah. anything warm out there thinking typical man anything more. Tying this into a, um, it's actually a double, double stitched um, camouflage knee patch uh, from a, an old pair of army, uh, military cargo pants that I had. So that's some pretty strong material. Very very old, but still pretty strong. So speaking of Ebola and diseases like that, malaria now has a vaccine. The malaria vaccine has been approved. So if that works, That will save many, 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 many lives. How many? Many. Many, many. Uncountable, probably. I'm sure they know how many per year, but you never know if all of a sudden malaria were to mutate, have variants. And uh, 
Yep, could very well have just saved the earth. So, future without malaria. Seems pretty appealing. Now, there's a, um, there's a group, there's a they, out there that um, track, <clears throat> track what they call a social progress index. Social progress index. And that is basically what it sounds like. Um, it shows basically quality of life and social progress based on many different factors in 167 different countries. And the good news here is that from um, between 2011 and when this video was published every country of the hundred 167 but four so 163 of the 167 countries improved their social progress index. So quality of life, access to education, healthcare, etc., etc. Uh, only four countries. And I know they say that, you know, naming is shaming and shaming is bad, but I'm going to name them. The ones that actually went down were. Brazil, Syria, South Sudan, and the United States of America. Those were the four where their social progress index went down. Cheers. So that's massively good news for most of the world. And um, a, poignant, a poignant note for the, uh, the four who did not approve. For those of you who follow um, world finance or uh, who just always wonder why the massive companies and people can get away with paying, you know, almost uh, ne next to no taxes over the course of a year, the, uh, the G7 countries have started to not allow multinational companies 
to avoid taxes um, by basing certain operations in certain companies. They are taxing the con uh, companies based on what countries they do business with. Now, I don't know all the ins and outs of that, uh, but basically what it ends up being is that the multinational com uh, companies uh, can't hide uh, behind as many tax breaks. And if these mega companies uh, just keep feeding the rich, and making them richer, have to start paying more taxes, then that money will go to the government, and the government is us. We are the government. So it will go to what we designate our leaders to put it to. So that's pretty pretty massive news. You know, we might not have leaders of mega companies getting away with paying seventy five dollars in taxes in a year. I'm sure there will still be ways, but it, hopefully it will help end some of that. Corruption. That sounds like a, uh, a decent place to pause. I know we're just getting into the stitching here, but that uh, painting took a little bit here. Um, yeah, we got our corduroy patch placed, started stitching it, all our pinning done. Let's have a quick look and see what it's gonna get a little preview of what, it, what it'll be like from the outside. going to be one of those patches where you won't know that I've actually done anything until this opens up and with another backing behind it and it should be a while uh, yeah awesome I love that stuff and I'll probably end up sewing into in some of these threads as well and that's the way that's the way these garments go Oh yeah, awesome. There's another episode. Thanks so much for joining me. I'm going to have a little coffee here. Call it a day. I very much appreciate the time we get to spend together. I do I do need to keep, or I do want, I really want to keep up on my sewing. Um, keep these jeans in operation and get a few of my other projects going because it does take time. Um, I don't think if you do have children, um, so so with your kids, you know. Um, take the time, sit together, do a project, so with them. You know, each have your own project, or if you want to work on the same one, you can work on the same one. Ooh, looks like I may have blown out a, uh, a crotch hole here. Yep. Already been patched once. I have to do another one. That's okay. Yeah, we get this one done. That one's not as noticeable. 
on these jeans. I've had some very large holes in the crotch and no one has noticed or at least not called me on it. Um, just because it looks like, you know, I'm, I wear underwear, you know, uh, so it just seems like it's another piece of patch material. But, uh, yeah, thanks a lot for joining me. Until next time, keep chilling. I usually have a cookie. Don't forget yours. Cheers. Peace.